Hi everyone. So in today's session, we're gonna discuss on the uh, TCA architecture in Oracle Fusion. Okay. So TCA architecture is nothing but the uh, trade trading community uh, architecture. So it's an existing EBS architecture which has been uh, present in the Fusion as well. So all the uh, parties information is uh, organized or structured in the form of uh, like in the form of the TCA architecture. So we're going to discuss on this particular architecture in today's session. So what's a uh, what's a TCA model and what is a party and all these things. OK, so let, let me start with the uh, uh, party. So if party is basically a customer, it it it, uh, it might be a customer, it might be a supplier, it might be a, a contact, it might be a person record, anything, any of the party record uh, based on the usage that will be differentiated. For example, if we create an account, sales account today in the sales cloud UI, so that will be created as a uh, party in the backend with a usage called customer. So for the same party, so we can also uh, create a supplier. Uh, we can just add the supplier usage and that can be used as a supplier. So we, here we are creating a, uh, a, I mean, a sales account and we'll be seeing what's the usage that's gonna be generated in the backend, in the party level. Once the account is being created, so we we will be going to the overview page in order to, yeah, here we, we will be taking the registry ID from here. So we'll be navigating to the CDM screen and we'll be searching based on this registry ID. So what, what uh, so in order to get the information of this particular party. So here we'll go into the organizations. Here the party that will be get uh, created is of type organization. So that's why we directly went into the organizations. So here we are searching with the same uh, uh, party uh, registry ID. So we'll be opening it. So if you go to the usage assignment tab, As we also can see here, so yeah, if you notice, uh, yeah, the usage uh, start date, I mean, the from date is today's date as we have created this customer um, uh, sales account today. And uh, it, it's of usage customer. We can see the other things, sales account, customer, and the type is organization group and something like that. So if, if, if this is a party uh, with the usage of customer and for the same party, we can also add the usage of, of, of a type called supplier and that can be generated or it, it can be a contact, it, it can be other things like uh, depends of the values uh, which we use. And here, uh, so more, more uh, talking more about the uh, front office like uh, CX comes into the picture. So we are not involved much into this back office uh, uh, work areas like suppliers, uh, these things, uh, banks, external pay, and all these things. So, just would like to talk in perspective of that. So, so what what happens in the back end when we create a sales account in the sales UI? What happens behind the scene? And we just want to give that exposure. So that's why we came to this particular uh, screen, and we are seeing the usage has been generated. Okay. So we'll be uh, like, so yeah. So let me talk some, some more about these uh, terminology uh, so, so that we will be uh, known about that. So I have told you about the party. So party, either it might be an organ, it, it can be an organization, it can be a person. So our sales account or the account which we created from the sales UI, it will be coming under the organization. So organ, type organization and it, 
it, it will be a party in the back end end of the day it will be a party in the sg parties so of the type organization in the same way if you create a contact in the sales ui so that will be another party in the sg parties it is a, another record in the sg parties with the type called person the type of the uh, party is person again in the person there will be a different usages like, like it might be a contact it might be an employee anything so these are the different uh, uh, like the bifurcations between the type and also the usage so usage will tell us if we open any party we need to go into the usage in order to understand whether the party is a, a customer or it might be a supplier it might it is a something else or something so the usage will help us to identify which ex where exactly this particular party belongs to it's a front office or it's a back office works uh, uh, handled by on the uh, handled on this particular party so these will tell us uh, this will give us some sort of information about that okay and like if we go in deep uh, there are terminologies which we hear on a day to day basis uh, like uh, like a party so a party is already been explained and we hear the site 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 addresses so site addresses again in sales it's it's again an address so while creating an account or while creating a contact we will be uh, um, adding an address for the account uh, so geography information will be uh, uh, added as an address in the account or screen or in the contact screen so these are the uh, party sites site is nothing but in erp in sales cloud it's address that is called as site basically in erp okay so and again uh, contact uh, so they they will be uh, we will be having an email address or we will be having a phone number that is added to the contact so those are like uh, contact points uh, in the erp so for every uh, like contacts will be having the contact points so email is one of the contact point and uh, phone number or these uh, are called one of the contact points uh, to the contact so okay so and uh, like uh, so we have uh, whereas coming to the uh, different tables where the information is stored in the tc architecture i have a, a diagram over with me let me show the same yeah this is a uh, diagram which which is explaining the underlying uh, tables of how the tca uh, been organized in each and every table let me uh, talk about um, a few of these tables where uh, there is a common relationship between the erp and the sales cloud uh, like common information stored in these tables okay as i told you the high level information about the parties either it might be an contact either it might be an account high level information or, the, or, or like a basic information will be stored in the hz parties so hz parties will be having some information like a party id party id is nothing but when we create an account so the unique id that gets generated once the a transaction is posted in the database the id gets generated that is known as a party id so party id is a unique identifier of the hz parties so each and every party will be having a unique id in the hz parties okay the basic information will be there so i if if we would like to uh, know about the information with respect to the uh, sales account we will be referring to the table called organization profiles and this table is internally linked with the hz parties the party id in the hz parties is which is a primary key is also being used in the organization profiles so okay the uh, the custom objects uh, i mean sorry the custom fields which we be we creating uh, for an account account object so all those information and everything will be present in the hz organization profiles and in the same way as party party includes both uh, account and contact uh, both comes under the party so the contact party ids will be also there here in the hz parties and the there is other table called hz person profiles where the 
basic uh, uh, like the complete information of the contact object in the sales cloud ui will exist in the uh, person profiles object and there are few tables which are like we will be uh, having internally which are like uh, the party sites i mean say i mean to say the addresses which are tagged to the parties will be present in the hedgy parties these again the party sites will have the information like the party id is nothing but for example if we create if we add an address for a sales account in the uh, in the cx ui so it, it internally generates a new id with with respect to the object and that will be pointing again to the location table. Location is nothing but where the geography information and everything will be stored. And those will be having a unique ID. For example, let's take India as an example, as a country. So, okay. So under India, we will, will be having uh, some states. Under them, we will be having cities. Let's say uh, India, Telangana, Hyderabad. So this is a address, address. This is a whole address. So which will be having some location ID in the location table and these address we might select for an account. So for that particular account, for that particular address, so the same location ID will be stamped as per the locations table. And these address not only have the address ID as a unique parameter will be also linked to the locations table with the locations ID common in both of them. And this is also tagged to the party ID. So which tells us, so which party this particular address is linked to, whether it is a organization party or it is a person party. So it will tell us the party ID information so that we can identify whether uh, that address belongs to the account or the contact. So along with these, uh, there will be few other attributes also uh, into the hazy parties table. If if we, today, if we observe in our sales cloud UI, when we are loading an address uh, into an address entity by using the import management, we will be seeing few parameters. I mean, we will be seeing the similar parameters like uh, this party site ID, you can call it, a, it will be like something like address ID and the party ID, party ID and party numbers. These are not the unique attributes of the address uh, table. Address ID is the unique parameter of the address table. Party ID and party number are the external attributes. I mean, the foreign key attributes of HZ parties whether it might be if it if the address belongs to the contact record then the contact party id will be stored in the party id record in the address table and those will be having the location id so based on this location id from the hz locations we can get the address information of that particular area or like the geographical uh, look physical location okay and these are the party uses actu actually so again the party sites will be linked to the party uses so party uses is nothing but when like when we are adding an account uh, so we, we will be uh, have, having the address purpose right so whether it might be a bill to whether it might be a ship to sell to and these will this information will be again stored in the party uses so here if you like uh, see notice this particular uh, uh, diagram over here so th these will be uh, telling us whether the joints between two tables and either this table is linked with any other table or not so if, if for example if we notice here in the hedgy locations this is only linked with the party sites so the location information which is present uh, present uh, i mean we can get the location id only from the party sites uh, table so if you want to for an uh, party record if you would like to get the location id so we need to query the party sites and from there we need to get the hedgy location uh, location id and that location id we need to query in the hedgy locations so these these are like uh, about the organization and in the same way we will be having uh, something like a, a person a person profiles where the contact information will be stored similar to this and these party sites will be uh, think like common to both the as you part uh, i mean the organizations and also the uh, organizations table and also the as locations because as parties is a common table for all of them okay this is considered as a main table which we can say so okay and there are few terminologies uh, which we use in the erp side 
I mean, in the back office, like healthy contact points and the customer contacts, customer contact sites, all this information. So what 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 are these? Let me explain in a high level. Like, uh, so edgy parties is a party. So the party again, it it might be a a customer party. It might be a supplier party. So okay. So for for one party, there might be a multiple customers which we can create in the system in 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 the back office. So what are these customers again? So like. So basically, account itself we in the in the CX side we will be calling as a customer. So here also there will be a concept called customer accounts. So one under one party there might be multiple customer accounts which which can be created. So each and every customer account will will point out to the uh, the specific or the unique relationship between the party or the dealings which the party has with the customer so for example if if a party which has been created and the same party deals with uh, so we organization deal with that particular party multiple relations like we will be selling uh, we will be billing and we will be like doing some invoice generation and so for one customer and we will be doing different sort of things for different uh, customer and different addresses like these information by for these they will be creating multiple customer accounts under these parties and handling that information under hedzika customer contacts and these customer contacts again will have the site and site uses and all these things so these are completely purely re with respect to the uh, back office so these are like the uh, basic table Rules which which are we in which will be in the back of back end so from where we will be getting the information so i like in 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 the, in the tc architecture so account and contact we see the similar similar behavior in the ui so like uh for like yeah just a minute So for both the entities, if we notice now, so for example, for an opportunity for activity or these, if you delete any record, the record will be a, a, like a, a hard delete. Hard delete is nothing but permanently removed from the database. When, whereas it comes to the organization, I mean, it, whereas it comes to the party entities like an a, a account or contact records, the record won't be like something which will be hard deleted the next minute. So it will be like, uh, soft deleted I mean the status gets changed and you will not be able to see it in the UI but still it exists in the back end uh, in the tables and when we when the purge activity get runs and it will be again hard deleted from the database if it is hard deleted we cannot retrieve it back okay so these are the like a uh, few things with respect to the, which are common in both uh, our CX and also in the back office areas. So yeah, thank you.